Oto lo lo broto si se koma nantala la bronda lo godon si dada Begin to pray in tom meke lem broto kosusu kobadan dala Iko si saki para na kite li kopoto Zenen de ligri no hando koruda kalambro te kisa katadande La kiza na boza la kite hiza na nandis Libidon do zuzuzu kotum barada dan selega dance yan ikadan zala Lord, we thank you. We thank you for open heaven this month to God. We thank you for divine turnaround this month of October. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallowed be your name of God. The horse is prepared for the journey, but safety is of the Lord. Blessed and blessed be God. In Jesus' name. And the people say, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, welcome to a new month. This is the month of October. And it's a month of a divine turnaround. Things are going to literally begin to change on their own accord. As a matter of fact, it's going to happen to the point that only God will take the glory. It's not going to be your strength that I've, you know, I've worked so hard. I know people are not that no. It's going to be by the sheer mercy of God. Hallelujah. Are you believing God for since January till now? It's going to be the sheer mercy of God. Things are going to turn around for good for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the area of your finances, in the area of your head, in the area of your married relationship and, and your, your babies, things are going to turn around differently in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you need to just key in and just follow us as we look into uh, what God had for us this remaining quarter of the, uh, of the year. Hallelujah. Now, I will be preaching today. Sunday service we're going to do more of prayer than even uh, even preaching, because we need to arrange our life and our destiny. All right. Uh, if you must be a winner, you need to uh, uh, arrange your destiny in the place of prayers. So I'll be preaching on a message titled "Divine Turnaround." Divine Turnaround. Now. Let me take our text from the book of uh, Psalm chapter 1 to 6. It's a popular scriptures. Psalm chapter 1 to 6. It says, when the Lord turned again, again. Now, that means it has happened before. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you have gotten a breakthrough, look as he has slipped out of your hand, it will happen again. You, you, you may be as a woman, you are pregnant, somehow you, you lost the pregnancy, it can happen again. You lost a relationship, slip out of your hand, it can happen again. Wherever thing that you've, you, you got them before and somehow you can't really account for it, it will happen again. And when, and when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. He looks straight to us. He said, you know, there are people who they are not used to when they enter prosperity. Now, it's, it, they will say, can this house be my house? Can this car be my car? Can this job be the really, is, is, is it is really, is it true? For real? When the, the Lord turned again the captivities of Zion, well, I then that dream. I was somebody who put something on the social media. There was a woman who was selling fish. And the tutorial of the fish he was selling, I think it cannot be more than uh, maybe, uh, let me convert it to, 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 to dollar, maybe about, about, uh, about uh, maybe $50. No, it's only about $25. The woman was talking, and a man drove close to, him, to her, and I said, how much is the fish? And he began to price. Ah, he was saying, is that not too expensive? The woman said, no, this is how we bought, so I am selling the same way. And the man counted about almost one and fifty dollars, and give to he, to the woman. And the woman say, "No, all the I, all the fish I have cannot. Uh, the amount is too much for the fish I have." He said, "No, take it." He demanded him buy the fish. Take it. He said, "Go home. Cook, even use the fish. Cook cook for your family." He said, "Because I just bless you." And the woman looked at the man. He said, "For real." When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like there in that dream. Now, when the Lord turns your captivity, when there's a divine turn around, there are things that you need to witness. Things that need to happen. He says, look at verse 2. Says, then was our mouth filled with laughter. When you experience turn around, the next thing is laughter. Laughter and joy. Now, joy will first of all come before laughter. 
because joy unspeakable is something that comes from within. Then laughter, you begin to laugh uncontrollably. Say, ha ha, Jesus. So this is breakthrough. Then number three, you're going to dance with that music. I've seen people that either they pass their uh, exam that have been a challenge to them when they pick their result, when they see their result, they begin to dance. Nobody's playing music for them, they begin to dance. And I've seen some people that were given a scholarship and they received a little scholarship, they begin to dance. I will see some people in nation, the military, they got their permanent resident, uh, they begin to dance. Those are the things that we cause you to dance because God is turning things around for you. I promise you that if you serve God faithfully, this is your year of turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It does not matter what happens from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, uh, till this October, things are going to turn around. A lot of water might pass all through the bridge, under the bridge, but things are going to turn around. He said, we are like them that dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. You must sing. You must sing the goodness of the Lord. People, if you've been to the village, and uh, maybe you uh, you give all those old people money that they've not seen before. The first they begin to sing. They begin to sing. They begin to sing. Song will just come out from them and begin to sing that song. You see, our tongue was singing. Then say they among the hidden. The Lord has done great things for them. There are people who think you can achieve it. They will say the Lord has done great things for them. How come about that this happened? Now, we live in a society whereby the majority of people who think they are your friend, they want you to fail. But that devil is a liar. But when they see you succeed, they want to see you things turning around, they say they hid it. say, how did they do it? So this is God is working. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 yeah. the, the Lord is going to make your life uh, an example for other people to begin to use as a prayer point that your life become a prayer point the hidden will say how did, this, did they do it then the Lord have done great things for us wherefore we are glad divine turn around bring joy divine turn around bring uh, on, on, unexplainable uh, uh, merriment from the family Hallelujah. Now, what is divine turnaround? Divine turnaround is a situation when you give God a chance to step into your face. When you give God to step into your face and reverse your present condition, turning it into miracles that human being cannot even explain. You need to give God a chance. You tried it. You tried all your best, but give him a chance. Peter said when he taught all night and, and Jesus Christ said, launch to the deep. And he was trying to argue, he said, but we taught all night, but we didn't catch anything, catch anything. He said, but according to that war, that's what you say. According to that war, launch into the deep. And as he launched into the deep, the Bible said, he caught multitude of his that he back on the other ship to come to help him. There was a turnaround. So turnaround is something that uh, you cannot even explain. What is divine turnaround? Divine turnaround is a personal encounter with God. Where negative circumstances is turned into positive and is shifting into a new level in your life. It's an encounter. Moses had an encounter with God. That this is a man who was running for fear for 40 years, but when he got an encounter, things turned around for him and he went to confront Pharaoh. From today, things are going to turn around for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No matter your, your failure over the years, no matter your weaknesses, things are going to cast you by her shatter. There's somebody you're having a, a pain at your feet. At your feet. Your feet. I don't know what to call your, your left feet. The feet. You're having the pain. Jehovah God, let there be healing now. Let there be healing now. Mendo Sulanda, this is a woman. Jiro Zuzayada. Ah, Lord, I ask for healing for this person right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now, Moses had an encounter with God and God turned his around. This is a man who couldn't speak, but God turned his around for him. Now, one of the things that troubled man is that, oh God, when will he turn it around? When will it turn it around? Now, it, it troubles man. People, people say, well, uh, can you tell me the time, the date? He say, no, I don't have an answer to that. He said, but what season? 
<laughs> Hallelujah. So, so it's a big question that troubles man and man are through through all the challenges. Law, oh law. When will this be? When will let us testify? Testify. When will it be my 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 time to to dance and speak? And I hear the Lord say, "Not too long." Somebody say, "Not too long." If we can hold on to God, I believe God that things are going to turn around for us for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, now look at what it is only look at what in Acts of Apostles chapter 1. Look at what the disciples was asking Jesus. They wanted to know. Acts chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 6. He said, When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, they were asking the master, saying, We are eager to know. Because when you leave us now, we are eager to know, saying, Lord, we thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time and season which the Father had put in his power. He said, Boy, you shall receive power. Now, what is the power? To strengthen you, power to keep you waiting until your change come. Power to keep you waiting because if God did not give you that power to wait to tarry, you may discourage. You may say it's not going to work anymore. A lot of people have, have thrown away, pastor have thrown away the mic. Uh, Bishop TDJs or Potter House wrote a book, don't drop the mic yet. Uh, probably he has have, he have cancer pastor who say, I am tired, I'm not going to do it anymore, I'm not going to preach anymore. Don't drop the mic yet. Don't drop the mic yet. You may not know the season of your visitation, but don't drop the mic yet. Don't close that business yet. Don't quit that, that relationship here. There's going to be a turnaround. Hallelujah. In Ezekiel chapter, chapter 21, verse 27, he said, I will overturn and overturn and overturn unto whose turn he is. I believe it's my turn, it's your turn. You that's watching me right now, it is your turn. Thank God this is the first Sunday in the month of, say, of October. So we're going to pray and prophesy to this month. This month it must produce for us. This month it must produce for us. Wherever thing that we desire, this is our season, it must manifest by fire. Kashida Mahashida. Zuzuzu Kodoba. Hear this. Divine turnaround defies any science proof or human or natural laws that science can explain it. It turn around. The natural laws cannot it beat natural laws. Never think that we are in the last quarter now that all your dream is shattered. That maybe we are looked toward. Uh, 2021 no it must have uh, 2022 it must happen in 2021 let it happen let it happen god himself will be glorified god can see taunting around no matter the time and the season you remember that peter it was laid if thought all through the night it was it, all hope is gone but god turned around every labor must come with a profit you cannot labor in vain say to yourself i cannot labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus, there's going to be a turnaround. God has sent me to send this message that I should encourage you. As I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself. Everyone need a turnaround. No matter the level you are right now, you need a God turnaround. We are about to pray. Men Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. God is about to turn this around. As we live here, you're going to be singing and been dancing and, and see what God will do. Let's pray. Begin to pray. You guys are watching watching right now. Begin to pray. We're going to take about, maybe time permit, we're going to take about 12 prayer points. Mendo suzaka la la bada gati sele. Lingretu la lamba la kisile kito baradaka. Ikete la kisile brado husa negete. There, there's someone, there was someone, there's someone you're having a pain here. Most of the time when you stretch like it's so painful. 
the Lord is healing that place right now in this place. The Lord is healing that place right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That itching in the eye, we come against that pain right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He we got it is his own. Yes, our friend like a low in Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. That migraine I cost you now. Go. Go from that head right now in the name of Jesus. Go from that head right now in the name of Jesus. That person that is uh, things crawling all over your body. You can't see but you see things crawling all over your body. I ask the fire of God to come upon your body right now. Burn those things, invisible things you can't see now. To ashes now in the name of Jesus. You Things crawl over your body. You can something that crawling like in your skin. Katuze dira kaberinde fire of God purify this person now in the name of are you ready to pray? The first prayer you're gonna pray say Father, I thank you for the gift of light throughout all the days I've lived on earth. Thank you for the gift of light all these years, all these years, no matter how old you are. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank him, thank him. Father, we thank you for the gift of life all these years, Lord. Lord, I thank you. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for the gift of life in Jesus' name. Now, number two, say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray right now, answer me by your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord my God and my Father, as I begin to pray, answer me by your mercy, answer me by your mercy, through your mercy, Lord, your mercy, Lord, your mercy is the medicine of God. Of God, Lord, answer me by your mercy. Answer me by your mercy. Your mercy, Lord. Your mercy, Lord. I need your mercy now, like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Number three. I say, I release myself from any inherited bondage of fruitless labor in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to release yourself. I release myself from any inherited bondage of fruitless labor. People people labor in vain, but you cannot labor in vain. I release myself from that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release myself. I release myself. I release myself. I release myself now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father, send your axe of fire to destroy every generational struggle in my life in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every generational struggle every uh, say you ask them to uh, remove them now remove them now remove them now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth shiko paratakata every generational struggle let it come to an end today right now right now in the mighty name of jesus see i release myself from any problem transfer into my life from the womb in the name of jesus christ I, I, I now watch this a lot of people come with problem from the womb either they projected evil to them or something happened we've seen testimony when we are delivered say father as I pray, I release myself from any problem transfer into my life from the womb in the name of Jesus Christ. I release myself. 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 Brata le crosu in the mighty name of Jesus. Number six. See, I break and loose myself totally from every inherited evil covenant or poverty and frustration in the name of Jesus Christ. Release yourself right now. Release yourself. Men learn always to pray and not to fail. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Break yourself loose totally from every covenant of poverty frustration in the mighty name of jesus christ i going around in your family in your life release yourself now 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 in the name of jesus number seven say my father my father i command every foundational strong man 
are attached to my life to be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man, every strong man from my foundation attached that's monitoring me right now. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Number eight. Say, my father, my father, I break any wicked rod risen up against my, my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be broken. 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 Kapayata para tapara tapa. Be broken. 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 Now in the name of Jesus. You're making progress. Hope you are praying. Don't just watch me be pray. Be, you hope you are praying. Number nine. You evil foundational plantation in my family be your putted now. Be your putted now and born to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil foundation, foundation of poverty, foundation of struggle, barrenness, be your putted now. Every tree planted, say every tree that my father in heaven who have not planted, it shall be your putted. Be your putted. Be your putted. Be your putted. Be your putted in the mighty name of Jesus. Save my father, my father. Close every evil gate of the wicked one. Open against me and my family. Shut them off. Shut them down. Shut them down. Shut them down. Evil gate be shut down. Be shut down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Number 11. Say, blood of Jesus, speak for me now. Begin to pray. If you can pray until begin to pray until right now. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. Speak for me and my family. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lastly, say, Lord, give me long awaited testimony this week. Not just this one, this week now, it must manifest. Go ahead and begin to pray. Uh, long awaited testimony. You be praying, you be praying, you be praying. Lord, let it manifest this week we are. Now, in the name of Jesus. Sita la la tatada. Jeko barati leki na naza tirata. Manifest, 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 manifest. Long awaited, awaited God testimony. Manifest, manifest, manifest. I must share on this. I see that. Share on this week. We are in the name of Jesus. Beto la harata. Jirodo. Let's agree together. Father, I ask. Let there be testimony, Lord. Let there be testimony as a result of these prayers. Let there be testimony. What, oh God, people think is impossible, begin to turn it to be possible right now. In the name of Jesus. We pray say, demand, oh God, of miracles. With God, all things are possible. Turn this around right now. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name. And if you don't know Jesus, to give your life to Jesus. Those of you who have received miracle, please, you can send us a testimony. We we're, we're glad to hear your testimony. But I believe God that this is the month of your turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who want to receive Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner and they repent and have mercy upon me. I know you died for me and you rose on a third day triumphantly. Today that I declare that I have rejected my sin and belong to you. Now that I'm born again, thank you. Jesus the Father, I thank you. I bless your name, O God, for this one who have taken the decision. Lord, write them in the book of life. You then the grace to stay to the end. In the name of Jesus. Now, now if you've if you if you surrender your life to Christ through the telecast, all right, please uh, write to us and let us uh, know so that we can personally send you some material that will help you all through uh, your Christian journey. All right. The Lord will keep you, will guide you in the name of Jesus. Now, this is Sunday. We want to take our offering. If you want to give your offering, please, uh, the, our banking this is going to display on the screen right now as I'm preaching. Uh, uh, use all those banking details. If you're in South Africa, use all those banking details. Nigeria was a part of West Africa. Use all those banking details. But if you don't live in all this region, you can also go to our website and follow uh, the place called Donate. I just follow the instruction. As you drop your offering and you see it or whatever you want to give to this ministry, we'll be praying for you. Now, trust the Lord that your harvest is guaranteed. The hand I give always remain at the top. You are at the top in the name of Jesus. Now, before we close today's telecast, please, you need to also go to Amazon, get our books, go to Google Play Store, also get our books, and begin to read. 
Now, it's good to read. We live in a generation where people don't want to read. They just want to do all that. But you need to read. Information is powerful. All right? There are books on deliverance. There are books on motivation and healing and all that. You need to get any of them and begin to read. Or even get all of them and begin to read. Hallelujah. Thank God that you are watching me right now. I am blessed to see you. And I trust the Lord that you're going to write to us. Let us hear how we could serve you better in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. May God keep you in the name of Jesus. But don't forget, before I sign out, no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. And I say to you, cha-cha, shalom, I see you again. God bless you. Hallelujah.